Royalty from different Emirates graced the Liwa Date Festival on its third day, led by His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces of the UAE, who donated 35,000 palm seedlings to participating farmers in recognition of their efforts to preserve national heritage. His Highness Sheikh Saud bin Saqir al Qasimi, Crown Prince and Deputy Ruler of Ras al Khaima, and His Highness Sheikh Rashid bin Saud bin Rashid al Muwalla, Crown Prince of Umm al Qain, were also in attendance. The success of, of this festival, in my opinion, comes from the, the, uh, the people who, who uh, manage and uh, care for the industry and it's part of their culture and I think it's, it's why this uh, uh, festival has been so successful. Among its highlights is the date competition, divided into five categories. Winning farmers are awarded cars and trucks in addition to the cash prizes. According to organizers, majority of the entrants are from Liwa and Abu Dhabi. Last year, for each type, there was 10 winners and for this year, it's 15. Today we have registered around 830 farms. Um, most of the farms that registered are from Liwa. Uh, we're, st we're still expecting people from other cities like Dubai, Sharjah and from Ras al Khaimah. The eight-day festival is already in full swing with a variety of activities and events for visitors. The heritage area and traditional souk are popular as the marketplace is a shopping paradise of Arabian perfumes and handicrafts. We found out very polite people, very hospital people. Uh, they invited us for tea, for water, and so we enjoy the time just talking and seeing uh, about dates. I'm uh, very interested in the uh, women who are waving and doing their artisans. Yeah, this is fine for me. <laughs> also the dates. <laughs> the UAE has an estimated 40 million date palm trees grown in the country. This annual festival will run until the 26th of July to promote local produce, its numerous varieties and market viability as well as highlight the country's culture and heritage. Khadija Sali, City 7 News.